More and more, sensors have been used to digitally monitor our physical worlds. And the way that these sensors are relaying data to the cloud varies greatly in terms of the amount of data being transmitted and hence the amount of power that is consumed. I'm here at Electronica 2024 on the SG Microelectronics booth with Eric, one of our technical marketing engineers. Hi, Eric. How's it going? Sarah. Good. And you? Uh, very good. Very Excellent. good. Thank you. Yes. All the better to see you. Mm -hmm. And Eric is going to tell us how we have been innovating recently in order to optimize uh, connectivity in the IoT space. So, Eric, in a nutshell, give it to me. What have we been up to? So, we did everything to make the life of our, of our customers easy. Right, okay. So we did the integration of uh, many sensors yes. in this small board that you have here. Okay. And today, the customers are able now to measure parameters, do the processing using our SCM32 devices, yep. and connect the device to the cloud using the NDIoT technology. Okay, so here we've, uh, with this board, we've grouped together a number of our sensors, yes. which are very, quite, very well known along with the microcontroller, and we've got the antenna, we're ready. Yes. Okay, very good. So, we're going to get there. We're going to have a look at the demo. We've got a dashboard. We'll get there very quickly, but I was talking to Eric about this beforehand, and he was telling me about some very interesting applications that we have in mind for this type of uh, world, right? Yes. So, the first one, which is kind of obvious, but still quite interesting, is asset tracking, right, Eric? So, yes. you were telling me about bananas and why, you know, yes. keeping an eye on the status there is good. So, yeah, tell yes. me about that. <laughs> So the, the issue is, Basara, when you do the, the tracking of, of, of over countries, yes. is that you have to monitor the, uh, the temperature yes. to, to make sure that they are being safe on the right temperature. Yeah. So today, thanks to this uh, NDRT technology, which is available globally, right. you, you have the information in real time. So you can act before it's too late. Okay, okay. So like bananas that are in the hold of a boat, we're measuring the temperature constantly. And anywhere we are in the world, we can relay that information the very cloud. easily. Okay. Yes. Okay, very good. So um, now you were mentioning another uh, application, I think, around water meters. Yes, Sarah. You know, the water meter application for me is a is very important one. Yeah. Do, uh, do, yeah. you know, do you know that today about 10% of the water produced it's is incredible. lost in leakages? Yeah, no, it's incredible. Yes, that's yeah. not normal. Yeah. So now, thanks to uh, our technology, we are able to help the utilities to do uh, the, the precise monitoring of the, of the water flow yes. and identify the leakages. Yes. We do this by adding the pressure sensors right, okay. along with connectivity, NBRT connectivity yeah. on the water meter. Okay, so it's, it's kind of a predictive thing because we're, we're seeing how the pressure is working in the system as we can say, right, okay, we're going to have a leak that's... You know, yes. Yeah, so we can kind of anticipate. We're fixing things before they happen. Kind yes. Of. Yeah. And this is great. This is what we want. This is the purpose. Okay, now maybe we have time for just one more application before we jump in. Well, I think the, the one I, I like the most is the... the Beekeeping application, you know. Yes, I yeah. Know. Because so for, for that one, I was uh, very su surprised. But at the end of the day, because uh, I, I met a beekeeper a few, few months ago, and then he told me told me that uh, the main issue he has was the uh, the fact that the, the, the bees have were being stolen by people. Yeah, stolen. Uh, yeah. Like literally, the guy is getting his bees hustled. I mean, this is just it's, he, he couldn't make it up, Eric. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we made it very simple for him. Yeah. We provide the, the kit, to the yeah. guy. Yeah. He put it on his system, yeah. and now he's able, thanks to his smartphone, yeah. to do the monitoring in right time of the position of the BFs. Yeah, no, I mean, that's, uh, yeah. Amazing. And I know we talk about a lot about sustainability, and we talk a lot about bees and so on. I think just it's great that actually here, it's, it's actually a concrete thing. Where we're, yes. We're kind of saving the bees. <laughs> okay, well, listen. Enough about it. it. One thing is for sure, and this has struck me, is that we have a very vast diversity in terms of applications here and really uh, endless possibilities, yes. probably. Anyway, so let's jump in. Uh, uh, we've got a couple of boards, we've got a dashboard. Where do you want to start? Yes, yeah, so I think we can start from the past. Because usually, when you want to do a, a design, yes. you order from, from ST these um, eval kits. Sure, yeah. yeah. So basically, you have the stack of uh, many technologies. You have uh, microcontrollers, sensing, and MBIoT technologies. Okay. The, to start here, Sarah, you need to be an engineer. Okay, yes, yes. You need to know how. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. My uh, beekeeper is not an engineer. No. So, what's the solution? <laughs> well, to go from here, to here, yeah. it took us about three months to our best engineer yeah. to make the, the development, the pre-integration of the functions for our customers. 
That's incredible. Yes. So what's more here is that once you push the bot, yeah. wherever you are in the world, yeah. you go on the web, you register your, your device. Okay. Then you can do the analysis of the different type of events happening to, to assist them. Okay. So uh, in this case here, I select uh, the right device, the one mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. I choose the parameters that I want to, to keep. Let's yeah, say the sure. temperature, for instance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The time. And then I can get, in real time, the temperature measurements right on my cell phone. OK, so everything's being detected by the various sensors on the board. Yes. It's been relayed via NB-IoT to the cloud. And then it's basically being shown up here in the dashboard directly. Exactly. Live. OK, yes. fabulous. Yes. Fabulous. Mm -hmm. Yes, we, we do have wonderful engineers in ST developing fabulous boards like this. Let's say it live. Let's say it proud. <laughs> Um, okay, so if people want to get their hands on either this board or indeed uh, the stack, what should they do? Where should they go? I think the to make it easy. The best way is to go on sdat.com yeah. and to look for the S twenty seven M zero one. Right. Okay. Yes, and then if you want as well, you can connect your ST sales representative. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right. Okay. So yeah, sales offices all over the world, and um, yeah, st.com people. <laughs> All right, thanks very much, Eric. You're welcome. Uh, really love discussing about this. Just Same here. Just hearing all those really cool applications. Enjoy the rest of the fair. Same for you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. And uh, yeah, come and join us at Electronica 2024. Chat with Eric and find out more. And uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.